So my gut reaction to this news is finally, tell us about how it came to be and why now this decision was made at the Treasury. So the primary purpose of currency redesign is for security purposes. And in 2013, we decided that the $10 note would be the next note for redesign. And with this theme of democracy that oversees all the denominations of this particular family, uh, it was fitting that we consider a woman for the first note out the gate. Some people are upset, Treasurer Rios, that Alexander Hamilton moves to the side. The very first Treasury Secretary of the United States laid the foundation for our modern economic and financial system. Is Hamilton going away? Absolutely not. We have every intention to preserve Hamilton on the $10 note. So they'll both be on the bills come 2020? Yes, we plan to unveil the note in 2020. You know, people, people are sort of joking, but it's a serious issue that while it's great to have a woman on the $10 bill, we still have many gender economic problems, including the fact that women still earn 78 cents for every $1 that men earn. Is this the beginning of a more aggressive approach from the administration, from the Treasury, on sort of better issues and better tackling some of the economic disparities on gender? I think it's a continuation of the conversation. That one of the first acts that President Obama did was sign the Lilly Ledbetter Act. And so for us, this is very symbolic from Treasury's perspective because the timing of this is such that it'll be unveiled in 2020, which is also the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, granting women the right to vote. So uh, I think this conversation will continue for quite some time, and it'll continue to be a top priority for this administration across the board. Treasurer Rios, can you give us an idea of who might, I hate to say fit the bill, but uh, <laughs> who, who would be among the, the population set that you could choose from in terms of women? Well, I think the best way to think about this is the only real criteria is, is that the person has to be deceased. But what we're really looking for is a notable American woman that has contributed to the history of this country and that best represents the theme of democracy. And so what we're doing is we're really leaving this up to the American people. We are launching a very ambitious uh, outreach program that includes our, our web page, which is now up and running, hashtag the new 10, or you can go to uh, the new 10.treasury.gov. And, and give us your feedback. Do, do they need, does this woman, does she, should she have served it, public office at any point or is that not a, a qualification, a, a requirement? It's absolutely up to the American people and ultimately the Secretary of the Treasury, Jack Lee, will make the decision. Yeah, I think there's an unofficial poll out there when it came time and when, when people were suggesting that they should perhaps replace Andrew Jackson on the 20 to put Harriet Tubman uh, on the bill. You know, I have a question about cash in general. Treasurer uh, Rios, and that is in 2020, will we be using as much cash as we do now? Aren't we becoming a cashless society as we move toward mobile payments and credit cards and even Bitcoin? That is a great question. And, and the truth is, uh, cash is still very much in high demand. Uh, when I came on board, there was about $800 billion or so of cash in circulation. Today, that's over $1.3 trillion. So uh, we don't think cash is going away anytime soon. Do you have a pick for who you'd like to see on the 10? Well, uh, except that they have to be deceased, I would love to see my mom. I think that would be fabulous. Uh, the, second <laughs> option would be, <laughs> the second option would be my daughter, Brooke. But again, it uh, doesn't quite meet the, tri the, the criteria, but we'll see what we can do. Do you have any thoughts on Harriet Tubman, a leading contender? Also, CNBC, by the way, has a poll. And looks like Eleanor Roosevelt, former first lady, is also ranking pretty high on the list. I think those are absolutely excellent options. I think there are many other options to consider. And I think that's the best part of this, is that this is the continuation of a national dialogue. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.